Greetings in the name of our Messiah, Yeshua. You know, there are a lot of verses in the Bible devoted to the prophet Elijah, the different ways the Lord used him from at the time of a great famine, feeding the widow and her son, uh, to healing the widow's son, to his contention with the prophets of Baal and how, how those prophets were defeated but maybe not as many verses devoted to Elijah's successor, who was Eli Elisha. Now, Elisha was called, we see in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19, Elisha was called when Elisha placed his cloak on him. Elisha was plowing with a, with a yoke of oxen, and Elijah put his cloak on him, and, and he was called, and his, uh, his direction and his life changed from that point on. And Elisha was Elijah's protege or successor or coming to be his successor for, for a number of years. Um, in 2 Kings chapter 2, um, before Elijah was called up to heaven, I want to read 2 Kings 2, part of it. Uh, now when the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal, and Elijah said to Elisha, Please stay here, for the Lord has sent me as far as Bethel. But Elisha says, said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel, and the sons of the prophets who were in Bethel came out to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take your master from over you? And he said, Yes, I know it. Keep quiet. Elisha said to him, Elisha, please stay here for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. But he said, as the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho. The sons of the prophets who were at Jericho drew near to Elisha and said to him, do you know that today the Lord will take your master from over you? And he answered, yes, I know it, keep quiet. Then Elijah said to him, please stay here for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But he said, as the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on. Fifty men of the sons of the prophets also went and stood at some distance from them as they were standing by the Jordan. Then Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up and struck the water. And the water was parted to one side and to the other till the two of them could go over on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elisha said to Elisha, ask what I shall do for you before I am taken from you. And Elisha said, please let there be a double portion of your spirit on me. And he said, you have asked a hard thing, yet if you see me as I am being taken from you, it shall be so for you. But if you do not see me, it shall not be so. And as they went on and talked, behold, chariots of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven, and Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. And he saw him no more. Then he took his own clothes and tore them in two pieces, and took the cloak of Elijah that had fallen from him, and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. Then he took up the cloak of Elijah that had fallen from him and struck the water, saying, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? And when he had struck the water, the water was parted to one side and the other, and Elisha went over. So Elisha knew that Elijah was going to be taken from him. And on three different times, Elijah asked Elisha to stay behind, but Elisha didn't want to be separated from his master. Elisha did not want Elijah to leave. Now, Elijah asked Elisha what he wanted, and Elisha replied that he wanted a double portion of the spirit that was on him. Now, the condition was that he needed to be with Elijah when Elijah was taken up to heaven. Now, after Elijah went up to heaven, Elisha removed his old, clo old clothes and took Elijah's cloak. When he had come to the Jordan, he took the cloak of Elijah, he struck the water and said, where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? And the water parted. So let's look at some observations here. Elisha wasn't seeking to be Elijah's replacement. Uh, in fact, he didn't want Elijah to leave. 
And Elisha realized that if Elijah was going to be gone, he needed God, and probably in a big way. So he asked for a double portion of the spirit that was on Elijah. And then Elisha stepped out in faith and did what Elijah would have done. He struck the water and he looked for God. God was with him and the water parted. Now this situation with COVID-19 has caused or may cause many of us to do different things or change the way we have always done things. Many of us will probably not like that and be a bit reluctant as Elisha was. So what do we need? We need to realize first off that we need God and we need to step out in faith. Now let's look at this from two distinct ways. Realizing God's miraculous power to change circumstances, to do miracles, to do supernatural things, whatever they are, and then God's miraculous power to change us. We know the fruit of the Spirit. If, we, if we're in Yeshua, have the Spirit of God, we should have the fruit of the Spirit. So God can work in circumstances and change things in miraculous ways. And God can work in miraculous ways to change us, to get through things that are tough. So let's trust that God is with us. So where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? Let's look for him as we go throughout our day. Thank you.